Welcome, and thank you for joining us for today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread on the 9th of October, 2023. The Bible reading today is Colossians chapter 3, verses 12 to 17. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness and patience. Bear with each other and forgive one another. If any of you has a grievance against someone, forgive as the Lord forgave you. And over all these virtues, put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace, and be thankful. Let the message of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns and songs from the Spirit, singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus giving thanks to God the Father through him. Today's article, titled Slow Fashioned Grace, was written by Monica LaRose. Have you heard of hashtag slow fashion? The hashtag captures a movement focused on resisting fast fashion, an industry dominated by cheaply made and quickly disposed of clothes. In fast fashion, clothes are out of style nearly as quickly as they are in the shops, with some brands disposing of large quantities of their products every year. The slow fashion movement encourages people to slow down and take a different approach. Instead of being driven by the need to always have the latest look, slow fashion encourages us to select fewer, well-made and ethically sourced items that will last. As I reflected on hashtag slow fashion's invitation, I found myself wondering about other ways I fall into a fast fashion way of thinking. Always looking for fulfilment in the latest trend. In Colossians chapter 3, however, Paul says finding true transformation in Jesus isn't a quick fix or a fad. It's a lifetime of quiet gradual transformation in Christ. Instead of needing to clothe ourselves with the world's latest status symbols, we can exchange our striving for the Spirit's clothing of compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness and patience. We can learn patience with each other on the slow journey of Christ transforming our hearts, a journey that leads to lasting peace. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you that I can surrender my anxious strivings in exchange for the peace of a quiet walk with you. Amen. Thanks for listening today. My name is Lucy, and today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.